Alright, I'm Mark Levitas with AKA Products and I'm going to show you guys how to glue tires. First thing we're going to do once you take your tires out of the package, um, what we're going to need to do is poke some holes in them. And what we use is a leather punch that you can find at Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those type of places. And it's got a few different size holes that you can choose from. We're going to pick one that's about a 1 8 inch in diameter and go from there. So what we're going to do is spin it to where you, the hole size that you want slide it in over the tire and then find a spot on the tire that doesn't have any tread that just the carcass showing and then we're going to punch down on there pull the little plug out and then what we're going to do is do a 180 opposite of that so just spin it around same thing go ahead and slide it over punch it in pull the plug out and that's it as far as the holes punched. So we got the holes punched in the tire. Um, a lot of people wonder why, well, how come they're just not in the wheel? And uh, it'd be a lot easier. Well, the reason is um, you know, all of the AK wheels do not come with holes in the tire. And the reason is because um, over time while you're running, dirt tends to build up on the inside of the wheel. That dirt would then find those holes and go inside the tire. Um, what that does, dirt gets in there, gets the tire really heavy, and it also breaks the foam down. And uh, that's, that's one of the things that we don't want. So the reason with the foam, with the, I'm sorry, with the hole in the tire is, you know, dirt may get in there, but now it's got a place to, to escape. You know, it makes the foam last longer, tires are more consistent, uh, better handling, and it's really the right way to go. So next step, we got the holes in the tires. We're going to take, we want to, we want to clean the uh, bead of the tire uh, to remove any oils that build up on the rubber. So we're going to take just a small paper towel, some brake cleaner, spray a little bit on the tip of it there. And then, you know, clean, we're going to go ahead and clean the bead of the rubber, just back and forth. And you can see it's picking up a lot of oils that are in the rubber. And by removing the oils, um, you're going to create a lot stronger bond when you go to glue it to the wheel. So you got the back side done. Go ahead and do the front. Just rub it back and forth. You can see it's really cleaning it up really good. So we got one all cleaned up. One of the key things is when you find something to go, um, clean the tires with, you want to find something that won't leave a residue. Um, and that's really key because if it does leave some type of residue on the rubber, it's not going to bond the way it should. All right, so next thing is everything's cleaned up, holes in the tire. Um, what we want to do now is take the foam insert and put it in. Um, but before we do that, I want to show, show you guys kind of one thing that's really unique to the AKA tires and the foam. Uh, one thing that we did when uh, designing our short course tires is that short course tires have a large sidewall. They're going to want to flex around a lot. So what we did was we reinforced the inner part of the tire there, which is the outside edge of the um, sidewall. And we in <clears throat> we included ribbing which matches up to the foam so it seats it from moving around. And what that does is create a lot stiffer uh, sidewall which makes the car a lot more uh, reacting in the corners and stuff. So we're going to put the foam in and one of the things that we do to make things a little bit easier is we'll take the insert and what I do is fold it in half and what that does is just makes it a little bit easier when you go to put it in here. You slide it in and then just kind of use your fingers, kind of work it around, center it. And as you can see, it's, it's nice and centered up against the ribs and uh, it's ready for the wheel to be installed. 
So we'll take our wheel and with short course tires with one side being bigger than the other, we'll take the, uh, take the wheel, the outside part of the wheel, put it into the back side, makes it a lot easier. Go ahead and push it in and just kind of work the bead of the tire up onto the bead of the wheel. And I usually start with the back, get it centered up on the, on the bead there. Once it's close, we'll go ahead and flip it over. And just it's kind of the same thing. Just push the bead, the tire into the wheel. And one thing that's you know AK is known for is uh, the fit of the tire to the wheel. Um, during the development, we did a lot of research and um, you know found out that you know people want their tires to fit the wheel right. So uh, we took the time and 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 put the preload, designed the preload into the tire so it kind of snaps on over the wheel. And you can see it's a really nice fit. All right, so before we glue our tire, we need to prep our glue bottle. And uh, AKA has a really good glue. Um, and it's a medium viscosity glue that we specially formulated for gluing rubber to plastic. And um, the nice feature about it, it comes with a small glue straw and um, what that does is help aid in the gluing, you know, get down in between the rubber and the plastic. So what we're going to do is pop this in here, Let's push it in, and clearly you don't want to use the whole glue straw so we're just going to cut about, leave a, about a quarter inch on there and then cut off the rest. So with, ju with just that quarter inch showing, that's going to allow us to, uh, you know, it's not going to flex around a lot and, and allow us to get into the channel where we need to glue. Okay. Alright, so the glue bottle's prepped. We're ready to glue our tire. Um, but before we do that, we want to make sure that the, the tire is seated up against the wheel as tight as possible. And to aid that, we'll use um, just some rubber bands that you find in stables or anywhere like that office supply store um, and we're going to just stretch it over the tire right over the bead so it's nice and tight up against the wheel and then we can take our glue and what we want to do is uh, use your thumb and just pull back a small amount of, of area here and now take the glue bottle and insert that glue straw and just kind of wipe it along the edge there and then push it back in. And you'll see a little bit of glue come up to the top and that's what you want. So you can just spin it a little bit and you always want to go over the, a small amount of the area that you just glued to make sure you cover the whole surface. So we've gone around the whole surface. Now the one last thing that we like to do is we take the, the glue straw and we're going to just kind of roll it around the edge of the tire. Make sure we fill in any of those gaps on the outside surface there. And it creates a really flush uh, bond between the tire and the wheel. And we'll allow, once that's done, we'll let, let that sit for about 10-15 minutes and then we can move on to the back side. All right, so the front side's already done. We're gonna move on to the back. Kind of the same thing. Get it nice and centered up on the tire. And then take the rubber band, put it over the outside edges. Again, pull back on that small corner there. And then push it back in. Again, some, some glue is gonna to come to the top and that's exactly what you want. working your way around. Alright, 
So now we came all the way around, everything's glued. Again, just like the front, we want to take the glue bottle, just kind of run it around the edges. It's all filled in and you know by doing that it's going to allow it to get a nice really strong bond. Okay so you know they've been sitting here we're uh, you know 10-15 minutes so once we're done just go ahead and pop the rubber bands off. And then uh, you're good to go.